So this is the freeze combined test program from the Vice Emulator Test Suite. It's really quite a, a nasty one to try and uh, do. So the green and yellow bars are CIA timer interrupts, and they're spread down the screen. Uh, and they're set so that their interval is exactly matched to the frame time on PAL. So if they stay in the same spot, it means that we have the, um, uh, the number of uh, one megahertz uh, CPU cycles per frame correct. And then the, uh, the red and gray on the inside here is actually, uh, should be metastable with the CPU, but the, uh, the bad line timing on the Mega 65 at the moment always just charges 40 cycles uh, because the, CPU, so the way the CPU internally works at 40 megahertz, we actually, it's a bit hard to tell when it should charge uh, 41, 42 or 43 cycles. So the CPU runs very slightly fast. Uh, but we can see you know, on a frame by frame basis, it's only creeping up uh, a fraction of a raster line. Um, so it might only be, you know, 20 or 30 clock cycles over the entire frame uh, that matters. So now the, uh, the real challenge with this is uh, if we press restore and freeze it. So that works. And we can see we've got a nice little thumbnail down there. Um, oh, we're talking in another video about this as well. We can now uh, mount disk images on both uh, drive numbers. And some other niceties, but let's resume. And <laughs> it's going to make a lie of me. By sheer luck, it's ended up perfectly in phase with these bars still lined up with the uh, the bars internally. Um, but that is dumb luck. Uh, if I do it again, we can see here now that they're uh, they're out of phase. Um, so that's the next little challenge for us to fix is to um, make the freezing so that it always occurs on the same raster line rather than instantaneous and I'm going to press the restore key. So there'll be a, you know up to a 15 millisecond delay, uh, but it will mean that we can always resume with the bars in the correct location, uh, which will be really good. Um, otherwise, it's not the total subject of this video, but... Um, we're actually displaying on HDMI. If I ask the monitor to tell us, it will be saying HDMI. So we've got HDMI video output working. Uh, and you probably see there that that's actually four by three aspect ratio, which is encoded in the um, uh, the HDMI stream. And you know, the pixels are super crisp and uh, sharp. There's no jitter or anything because we're now doing the digital latching of the pixels. So uh, this is all, yeah, really nice progress.